Hi, Micro Punter here. This here is a small uh, do-it-yourself, a small homemade microtome. And for those of you who don't know what a microtome is, um, it is used to make very thin uh, cuts uh, for um, specimens to be used for the microscope, for microscopy. Um, this uh, homemade microtome was basically free of charge. Um, in a previous video, I already showed you a commercial microtome, which was extremely expensive, uh, between 300 and 400 euros or dollars. And it might not always be worth uh, spending so much money for for a microtome if uh, maybe in some cases a small homemade device like this also does the job now um, I did not get the idea myself um, but rather it's in a microscopy book here that's uh, the German version there is a link uh, to the English translation down in, in the description but in this book there is a small picture a drawing on how such a homemade micro microtome could look like and uh, that's uh, basically the drawing that I used to base this one on I of course have to modify it uh, but and I would say that you probably should first try uh, to make a small microtome like this yourself before you start uh, spending quite a bit of money uh, for a commercial one. So I'm just going to show you what I did and then you can take it from there and you can modify it yourself and you can improve on this. Okay, so let's get started. The basis of the microtome, the body, so to say, that is a thread reel. These days they're made of plastic. In the good old days they were made of wood. And I also was scavenging my cellar a little bit for screws and bolts uh, and uh, nuts and bolts, so to say. And I was uh, trying to find uh, some that actually are able to fit uh, in here. Um, and I also found some washers. Uh, these uh, washers here are also pretty important because they serve also as a base is uh, for uh, making the cut and uh, the only problem that I is how am I supposed to fix uh, the nut uh, on the bottom of the um, of the thread reel so I was looking around for some other um, possibilities here but I decided not to use this part here I don't even know how this one is called in English um, and uh, then I found the second washer here a smaller washer and uh, um, by a good chance it was like this that uh, the not was able to fit actually into the center of this washer here. Um, so what I tried to do then is try to somehow connect them um, and uh, so that uh, I have an uh, easier possibility to um, stick and glue the washer to the thread reel. So I will hammered it in and uh, it looked quite solid. You can even see that the washer is a little bit deformed but unfortunately it was totally unstable. Yeah, so it really popped out right away. Uh, so I needed a way somehow to properly connect uh, these two parts and I used my high performance soldering iron. It was still not quite easy because uh, the metal absorbed the heat um, so quickly and uh, it cooled down so quickly that it took me quite a bit of time and it did not look very nice. And uh, yeah, so there's got to be a better way of doing that. Uh, but it was actually a strong and stable connection and I discovered, well, far too late, you can actually also use a gas burner like this uh, to directly melt uh, the solder and to connect it together. It was much faster, was much easier um, and it also looked much nicer. Okay, so that is, that's actually the recommended way um, and I did not end up using this one now because I discovered this possibility only after I have already finished uh, the, the microtome. Yeah, so um, I can either glue it like this, but it doesn't look nice. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the central part here. I'm going to remove a little bit of this plastic so that it can hide my embarrassment, so to say the embarrassment that it looks kind of ugly. And the plastic was soft enough uh, that it was possible to easily remove uh, yeah, a couple of millimeters um, of the thread reel, of the central part of the thread reel. That's only cosmetics, okay? So this is absolutely not necessary. Um, it just uh, makes the whole thing appear a little bit nicer. And uh, it was actually also a little bit, uh, some experimentation that I've done here. And that's the reason why I simply tried out yeah, different possibilities. Yeah, and then I uh, basically put some tissue paper into the center so that I can fill up everything with uh, hot glue. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I used plenty. Yeah? I used plenty of hot glue and this basically really connected um, the washer quite well um, with the thread reel. Um, and uh, yeah, you have to center it. It was a little bit difficult because it was so hot, obviously. But uh, after a couple of minutes, um, I tried to, yeah, put the screw in, and it worked. It was quite, uh, was quite happy uh, that uh, this connection was so stable, and I'm now pushing out the, the tissue paper again, which kind of protected the central part. Yeah, so that's how it looks uh, from the top. 
and uh, then I had to attach uh, the other washer and here it's really important uh, that you use the correct surface because some washers are not completely flat on one side um, so you have to make sure that the flat surface of the washer is on top it's really important otherwise you're not able to glide the knife over it without uh, any resistance or without any problems so that's the way I'm gonna connect it um, also very easy I used plenty of uh, of hot glue again and uh, then yeah I stuck it on here and <laughs> strictly speaking we're already finished okay I just had to center everything again and uh, yeah um, at the very end I simply uh, removed all of the excess glue um, also rather a cosmetic issue uh, so you can see plenty of uh, plenty of excess glue that is simply removed uh, not necessary uh, but yeah that's uh, basically the first time even that I'm making a, a microtome like this so it might not be the best or most ideal method as I already mentioned before please uh, do leave your comments and experiment a little bit um, and maybe you have a better possibility here I'm using a carrot to hold um, a pine leaf so uh, I'm slicing a carrot in half uh, it's uh, connected still at the very bottom and I'm putting a pine leaf in here and the carrot will act as a holder so to say uh, normally you can also use so-called elderberry marrow uh, but yeah carrots also work and uh, then the, of course uh, the diameter has to be right so that you're able to fit it all the way in it's got to touch the screw on the other end um, so yeah you can see that the carrot looks a little bit too thick uh, so I had to actually trim off some of the parts a little bit and make it a little bit shorter because that's really important that it touches uh, the, the screw or you can try to turn the screw out a little bit in any case um, it worked uh, quite quite well and uh, yeah we are ready uh, we're ready to go so to say and I'm simply using a sharp knife a laser blade would be probably even better I didn't have one uh, but uh, those sharp knives are uh, also solid enough they don't bend very easily this was basically the first cut and I discovered that the cut was not very nice um, it was not completely flat so I had to of course uh, do another one um, so I turned the screw a little bit um, and this moved the carrot with the pine leaf out and maybe holding the knife a little bit differently would work better keep it pressed against the washer and it seemed to have worked but I think I did not catch anything of the pine leaf I don't know now yeah you'd, a quarter rotation or half a rotation was enough and then the next cut I think uh, th these first cuts were still quite thick okay um, so I think this was not half a rotation um, so yeah quarter rotation should work let's try it again and see it works okay this was a quarter rotation again quarter rotation and cut yeah Again, here you have to do a lot by trial and error because, uh, um, yeah, it's not always uh, very reproducible. So, um, for large quantities, maybe uh, a homemade microtome like this might not serve the very best purpose. But uh, if you only make a few cuts, it works pretty decent. And I would say that the imperfections that the microtome has can be compensated simply by making more trials. Uh, the screw is a little bit wobbly of course maybe adding a second uh, nut uh, would stabilize everything a little bit more uh, but uh, you simply try more often and then one of those cuts is gonna be fine um, it's quite just a question of patience I would say yeah, so I ended up making several of these yeah see now it, now it works quite nicely and I also discovered then later that actually the knife was not new I've already used it before and there was already a little bit of corrosion on the on the blade this might also have contributed yeah so that is uh, basically uh, the thing that I've done and now I'll try to carefully pick uh, those uh, some of those cuts uh, put into a drop of water and of course uh, also a small part of the carrot I wanted to have a look at and I uh, simply wanted to check uh, if the cuts are thin enough and uh, I just by looking they seem to be quite thick already and as a matter of fact yes most of them were a little bit too thick but this one here was fine um, it's quite similar to the one that I made with the commercial microtome this is now the carrot okay so you can see that the carrots uh, work, uh, works actually quite nicely and these are some of those uh, pine uh, leaves that are a little bit too thick okay seen from the top and from the side yeah so there are several cell, th cell layers thick and therefore uh, too dark again the carrot and uh, but one of those cuts was nice and uh, that's basically yeah what I got and you can see that uh, 
it's maybe one or two uh, maximum maybe three cell layers thick so it's thin enough to actually see the individual cells and even the green dots either the chloroplasts you can also see that the different parts of the pine leaf have more chloroplasts than other parts of course the outside has to be highly pigmented because of uh, photosynthesis they need more chlorophyll yeah that's now in the center a little bit but you can see it works uh, maybe not perfect uh, but uh, I would say considering the fact that it was free of charge I think it's uh, quite nice please do check out my other channels that I have. There's one channel, a new channel um, on microscopic mysteries, I call that, where it's up to you to guess the specimen. I also have a shop uh, where you can buy uh, microscope, um, uh, microscopes and, and related accessories. Please check out the links below. And of course, there's also the Microbe Hunter main channel. Yes, have a look at those channels. I wish you a nice day. Happy microbe hunting. Bye-bye.